guys learning with rich here in this video we are going to learn how to create a fire protection systems okay so last time we have learned how to create our uh, sanitary plumbing system so in this lesson so we're going to learn how to create a fire protection uh, system okay so let's do this so in this exercise we're going to create and lay out a wet and a dry fire protection system so we're going to create a sprinkler layout in the fire protection piping plan for a small room and the hallway in our conference center so we're going to place sprinkler heads we're going to create a sprinkler system and then we're going to lay out the sprinkler piping all right so let's get started so I'm just gonna zoom into this area here Okay, on our hallway so as you can see there is already our reference lines there so that is gonna be the placement of our sprinkler okay so let's do this so as you can see I am now on the second floor uh, ceiling plan so I would like to place of course my sprinkler heads to the ceiling so I'm going to zoom into this area and then let's go to the systems and then from here you can now see the plumbing and piping panel so there you can see the sprinkler tool okay so I'm going to select this one and then I'm gonna make sure on the properties that I am selecting a dry pendant semi recess hosted okay so it should be hosted half inch okay so half inch dry pendant so I'm going to select this one and then after that make sure that here on the placement make sure you are selecting place on face not on vertical face of course you want to place it on the face of our ceiling plan so I'm gonna go ahead and select this one and then after that uh, just zoom in to this uh, part here so this is where I'm gonna place it so I'm gonna place it click and then after that you just need to select here uh, modify to terminate it again if you want to have the exercise file of this so you just need to put a comment on the comment section below and I'll be sending you the exercise file if you are going to put your email address on your comment all right okay now the next thing that I'm gonna do is of course I'm gonna copy this one okay so I'm gonna copy this so let's select our sprinkler and then I'm going to copy where's the copy tool so there's the copy tool and then just make sure that the multiple is selected and then I'm gonna constrain it so that the movement will gonna be horizontal and vertical so I'm gonna pick here and then I'm going to copy that to the right side okay so I'm gonna key in here the distance on uh, nine feet so if you're using metric so it's about 2700 mm so I'm going to type 9 enter then I'm going to move again to the right and then 9 enter there you go then escape right now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy again but this time I'm going to select the left and then the right sprinkler head and then I'm going to copy this below okay so I'm going to copy I'm gonna pick here okay so same distance we're going to type 9 enter and then move your pointer 9 enter okay so 9 enter so how many already so 2 4 6 8 okay so I'm gonna pick another point here so 9 enter okay and then I'm just going to press escape so we have a total of 2 4 6 8 10 11 so we have 11 instances of sprinkler heads each 9 feet apart okay now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to place another sprinkler head so this time around on our uh, room 213 okay so there is our uh, reference line there so that is we're gonna place our sprinkler head so again let's select sprinkler this time around we are going to use 
um, sprinkler head hosted half inch pendant. So sprinkler pendant hosted. Okay, half inch pendant. So I'm gonna select this one and then again make sure the place and face is selected. And then I'm gonna place it here. So please then let's pick here again. And then I just select here, modify. There you go. Now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy it above. Okay, so I'm going to copy it above. So we are going to select both the instances of the sprinkler that we just placed. So let's select, hold control, and then click the other sprinkler. So copy, multiple, constraint. So we're going to copy that above. So I'm going to pick here, move up 10 feet. Okay, move up 10 feet, enter. <clears throat> And then just select your modify. Now the next thing that I, uh, that I'm gonna do is just like what we did last time. So we are going to create a system. Okay, so this time around we're going to create a sprinkler system. So how to do that? Same procedure, just like what we did last time on our HVAC, on our uh, system piping, on our plumbing system. So same procedure. You just need to select one of the sprinkler head and then you will see again here the create systems and then you just need to select piping here okay and there you go so you now have the fire protection dry so if you click the drop down so there is other system there but we are going to create a dry so as you can see uh, the connector for this sprinkler is a dry connector Okay, so the system is dry. So that's why you are creating a dry. So let's say I'm going to call this um, second floor. Second floor, fire protection dry. And then I'm going to select open in S, uh, system editor. So I can select the other sprinkler heads and add to the system. So as you can see, add to system is already selected. I'm going to select all of the sprinkler heads that I would like to be added to our system. And then just select finish. There you go. Okay, so that is what we're going to do as well on our room here. On our sprinkler heads in this room 213. So I'm going to select one. Select piping. And then as you can see, it's wet. Okay, so I'm going to type here. Uh, second floor fire protection wet then after that again I'm going to select open in system editor select OK and then add the system is already selected so I'm going to select all of the sprinklers that I would like to be part of the system and then finish editing system click that one there you go now the next thing that we're going to do we are now going to lay out the sprinkler piping. So let's go here on our hallway. So how to lay out our sprinkler piping. Again, you can do it manually or you can do it automatically, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to generate the layout. So I'm going to click one of the sprinkler head that is already part of the system. And then there's the layout panel. I'm going to select generate layout. Okay, and then for the solution type, instead of network, I'll try to use, let's say, perimeter. So let's click perimeter. And then, okay, I'll try to use perimeter. Okay, so how about perimeter 4 of 5? Okay, and then you can also change the offset here if you want. So if you're going to change the offset, so let me just zoom in so you can see how it works so I zoom in so let's say I'm gonna make it one foot enter so as you can see there's an offset of pipe that is happening so let's say I'm gonna make that two feet enter so there you go so there's the offset all right so anyway I'm just gonna put back that to nine inches nine inches enter there you go and then you can also change here the settings of your pipe so you can click the settings and then you can change just like your plumbing system and system piping. So you can also change the main here and then the branch here. 
So for the main, you can change the offset to whatever height that you want. So let's say, for example, I'm going to adjust this instead of 9 feet. So I'm going to type, um, let's say, 12 feet. Enter. Okay. And then that's the type of the pipe that we'll be creating. Again, the main pipe, that is the blue pipe that you're seeing on our layout here. The branch, that is the color green. Okay. Now, I'm going to change this as well. Let's say uh, 12 feet. And then I'll just select OK. There you go. Okay. And then after that, don't forget to select Finish Layout to create the pipe layout for the sprinklers. Just click that one. And there you have it. So you just created the uh, piping for your hallway. So let us try to do that as well on our uh room 213 here same procedure just click one of the sprinkler go to generate layout okay and then let's select a solution type here so for this one let me use a uh, network okay and then let's go to uh, settings let's try to change the settings so instead of nine feet so let's say i'm gonna type uh 10 feet same with the branch here. So I'm going to type 10 feet, enter, and then I'll select here OK. All right. And then after that, just finish the layout. There you go. So you just created now your layout. So if I'm going to check out the second floor fire protection, you can select that one. And then there you go. Okay, so you can type SD for shaded view. That's how it looks like. Of course, you can still modify that if you want. Okay, so there you go. Okay. All right, so I'm going to type WT so I can view that. So there's my layout here. All right, so that's it for this uh, quick exercise for creating a fire protection system. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.